Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a toon style or anime style glass shader in Blender. So for this you can use any object you want, but for this tutorial I'm going to use a circle. Then in edit mode press E to extrude the vertices and move them up a bit. Then select all and press E again and S to scale. This will create a second layer of our object and as you will see later on it will add density to our glass shader, making it look much nicer. Then you can shade your object smooth and add a subdivision modifier to it. You can also go back in edit mode and add a few loop cuts to adjust the shape. And now to make the glass shader, enter the shader editor and add a new material. First add a glassy BSDF, then a shader to RGB, and the color ramp. Connect them and set the color ramp to constant, then slide this little triangle to the left a bit to see what we're doing. Then add a mix shader and a transparent BSDF. After that, add a fres fren fresnel and the color ramp, which will create a sort of outline effect around our glass. Set the color ramp to constant as well and add another mix shader. Plug the color ramp in the factor. Then add an emission shader. And finally, to make this shader transparent, you can go into the material settings and switch the blend mode to alpha blend and enable show back face. So now with this emission shader, we can control the color of our outline effect. And with the first color ramp, we can control the color of the glass itself. So now our glass already looks really nice. And you can see here the entire node tree. But if you want to go even further with your glass shader, you can add the noise texture. And by adjusting its settings, you can get the reflections on the glass to look less perfect. And even more, you can duplicate these four nodes, then add a mix color to combine the two color ramps. So now you will get a secondary reflection and you can adjust its opacity by changing the factor of the mix node. And that's pretty much it for the glass shader, you can use this on any type of object you want. And as you can see here, the shader changes depending on the lighting of your scene and as well as the shape of your mesh. So you can get some pretty nice results with this type of shading. And that is the end of this video, thank you so much for watching.